you guys. Very, very stoked. First fish on the CSR. What a what a good way to start. Um, yeah, just what a good way to start. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Coatsense Workshop. Today I'm really pumped because I want to introduce you to the latest thing I've been working on, and that's the CSR Coatsman Single Roller. This roller is specifically designed for small, short single rollers. It's um, primarily for 7mm shafts and 14mm rubbers. It is an ultralight um, roller muzzle. This eliminates a lot of the buoyancy issues with shorter guns. It is ultra low profile, ultra compact. The body construction is the same nylon construction that I've used in the double rollers for the last um, couple years. It also comes with the preload tension system with the hooks. This is a complete game changer when it comes to um, full pretension rubbers. They come on and off really easy. So there's no more need to have your, your rubbers powered up on your gun only when you're using it. And we're going to jump straight into this very first fish I shot with um, a CSR. And if you remember the fish that had no teeth, have a look at this fish. No teeth at all. Have you ever seen a cuda with absolutely no teeth? This is a shore dive at one of my local spots, Salt Drop Beach. Uh, there's a drop off uh, about 600 meters out that goes from about 14, 15 down to about 18 meters onto the sand. There's uh, quite a bit of structure in the one area. And um, I'd been diving for about, oh, about half an hour and sitting midwater waiting for for Kuda to come in. I was about to leave when a beautiful fish came in swimming across the bottom of the reef. I was able to line up and take a, a really good shot. You know, taking a shot with any new gun for the first time is always a little bit nerve wracking. It shot exactly the way I expected it to. Shot wasn't too far away, so no problem with the 110 with their 7mm shaft and 14 more bands. Hit the surface, dive wasn't long, maybe minutes and a half to 14 meters. I hurt the fish so it didn't speed off and take much line. Pretty much start working my way back up the line as I hit the surface. Um, but it is a fairly big fish. But it is a fairly big fish, so you'll see that when I get close, it's still got a lot of let go. There goes my quick release knot on a swivel. I like using a swivel with uh, shorter guns, especially when it comes to shooting reef fish and they tangle up your line. It's good to keep your Dyneema, um, keep the twist out of the Dyneema. You can see the fish has still got lots of, uh, lots of gas that uh, slip not pass through my hands it's giving me a good good little pull you can see I'm holding on I was pretty sure that the shaft had gone all the way through and was uh, um, holding well double bobs really do give you that extra bit of confidence with these type of fish Got close enough to the fish but he was still kicking i could see my bob sticking out the other side so um pretty much just held on and put quite a bit of pressure onto the fish you can see that it's a it's a good sized fish because the shaft's not getting all the way back to the back of the tail just making sure i don't tangle on my lines make sure it clears my weight belts and everything line management is key with real guns funny at this this point even though you can see it in the video I didn't notice that the fish didn't have any teeth I 
I was just stoked to get this fish on the CSR. You can see I'm like pumped. Give it a give my new gun a thumbs up. Yeah, it's very, very stoked. First fish on the CSR. What a what a good way to start. Um yeah, just what a good way to start. So the gun that I'm using is a 110 with a 1.5 meter 7 mil shaft. Um, the rubber is a 60 centimeter 14 mil band with a hand loader. Um, this is pretty much my favorite setup. If you haven't seen the videos, check above the now, there's a little link. Another thing you notice when I, when I kill fish, and you'll see in videos to come, I always limit how far my knife can go into the fish's head with my thumb. I've stabbed myself too many times. And you can actually see here, these double barbs don't come out that easy. A little bit of a, a hack if you competitive spearfishing, you know, speed is everything. But um, man, you've got to twist and turn these things to get them out, and that just, you can imagine that if it's hard for you to get the shaft out, it's hard for the shaft to come out by itself with a fish on. So they really do work well. And then uh, you see the gun's floating. It's not, the muzzle's actually floating out the water. Put that off. There's a CDR and load the fish into the fish bag. You can see it's a proper big fish. Hey, what nice cooters. Lovely bars. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, and that's that hunt. Hey, I hope you enjoyed uh, me running through my first hunt with the CSR. If you're wanting to get one of these muzzles, just head over to my website. The link is in the description below. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.